is pretty much how I bought this, tr this tractor. It's... So my brother was doing some sickle bar mowing with the 8N and he got it stuck. So I figured I would uh, pressure wash that tractor off. And since I had to get the Alice out to get him unstuck in the 8N, Let's wash the Alice too. Uh, hopefully we'll make this tractor look a little bit better. I still have, I got the rim and tire on and it doesn't seem to be leaking as far as I can tell. So that of course is the Rust-Oleum primer and then the rest of this is pretty much how I bought this, tr this tractor. It's pretty much the way that you see it is how I bought it aside from working on this tire here. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's do some pressure washing on the Alice Chalmers D17. I can't even fit this whole tractor in the shot. You would not believe how dirty this tractor was whenever I bought it and it's still dirty even after I'm done pressure washing this thing but I must have taken off probably 10 or 20 pounds of dirt and grime everywhere you should have seen the the ground underneath this tractor I had to hose off the concrete or pressure wash off the concrete underneath this thing because it was it was incredible how much how dirty this thing was and the all the oil and stuff ground in and just uh, just amazing how dirty these things get and of course having the big tires you know big tires hold a lot of dirt too and it's uh, just one of those things I guess but I was trying my hardest to not get water in all the places that you should not get water in this tractor such as down the intake down the exhaust in the motor in the transmission in the rear end you know etc etc that stuff is really not good to have inside the tractor at all there I took off the side cover and I was pressure washing out the side cover too because of course it was dirty just like everything else was and I know some people are cringing here oh my gosh he's pressure washing out the radiator yes yes I am I'm not going to I didn't want to use a you know blow gun like a for a compressor or something I would rather use the pressure washer and it seemed to really clean things out this Radiator has three sets of cooling fins in it, so like three passageways for coolant to go, and after I I blew everything out onto the motor side, you should have seen the whole front of the motor was just covered in those, they're little white um, tufts of, it, it almost looks like cotton, I guess, uh, like a cotton flower or something it grows around here in western Pennsylvania and that stuff whenever you're mowing and it hits the radiator and stuff it gets uh, pulled into the radiator through the fan and it's uh, just one of those things that you know you got to clean out the radiator every once in a while and this tractor like I said it was it's been pretty well used and it's it's not tired yet. There's still plenty of power left. Uh, Alice Chalmers seemed to put plenty of power in their tractors whenever they were manufacturing them. And this tractor is uh, no exception to that rule. 
you know, there's plenty of power left and it. This motor hardly even uses any oil, so that's a good sign, but I'm just kind of pressure washing this thing the best that I can, and I'm actually using my little uh, Harbor Freight electric pressure washer, and it seems to be doing pretty good. You're not going to get off all the dirt and grime and oil and stuff off of it. I'm just kind of trying to get as much as it off as much oil and grime and stuff off of it that I can and I did pressure wash the final drives and that was a good thing. I'm glad I did that. They were pretty dirty and I still need a, I'd still like to change the oil in those at some point. We did add an overrunning clutch. You can see it in between the chain there because whenever I was mowing the brush hog would ha actually have enough of stored up energy to push this tractor 5, 10, 15, 20 feet more. So I think that pretty much concludes pressure washing the Alice here. Uh, it does look a little bit better, but she's got a lot of oil and stuff everywhere. Uh, I think this machine's been used hard and put up wet, however that saying goes. So. Hopefully I didn't get too much water in the transmission and in other places. Uh, there's really no way around it unless I put a plastic bag around the shifter and stuff. But apparently these final drives, there's a bolt hole. So there's this bolt right there. That must be a, a fill or a drain or something. There's no drain on this thing, so I'm not entirely sure. And then I guess there's supposed to be a bolt in here, and that is full of uh, dirt and stuff. So at some point, I'll probably pull these bottom covers off, clean the whole thing, and fill her back up with gear oil. But she's still pretty dirty, but it's better, better than what it was. And oh boy, I still see some more spots I can do. But you know, I could spend years and years and years cleaning off all the mud and oil and stuff on here but uh, let's uh, walk you take you guys around to the other side and I blew I pressure washed out the radiator I'm sure a lot of people were cringing whenever I did that but uh, that is because it was pretty clogged up and you could take compressed air and stuff to it but the rest of the tractor needed pressure wash so you know that's just uh, just kind of one of those things I wanted to get this thing as clean as I possibly could but it does look better that's for sure so let's uh, let's fire this thing up next and uh, now that I'm for the most part done with this one we have to do the 8N after this so I'll turn the fuel on here Hopefully this old thing will start up. Usually after you wash them, that's whenever they don't want to start up back up again. Oh, wet seat. Wet seat. Oh. All right. Hopefully my foot doesn't slip off the clutch. Give her some throttle. Make sure she's in neutral. Put the key in. Push the choke in. And hopefully, hopefully she'll start up. Ooh, that's not a good sound. Alright, I don't think we have a good connection on the battery. So I messed around with the battery some more, and hopefully this time it'll fire up. Probably not, though.
that's first gear. There's second. There should be third. Yep. This tractor can be a little difficult at times to get into gear, which I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's just things aren't lined up quite right in the transmission. As, as my brother says, the galaxies didn't align. And that lever that you see that I just pushed, that was to go into high range, so I was in third gear low range, and now I'm in a third gear high range, which is about 9 miles an hour, if I remember correctly, something like that. It doesn't seem that fast, but in case you guys haven't figured out, I, I really enjoy this tractor. It's a heck of a workhorse, and I don't think anything that I've ever hooked up to it, it has pulled. Like, like I haven't hooked up something to it that it wouldn't move or pull or whatnot, at least roll. And I'm just uh, taking it back to the back barn to put this thing away, and you know, it's, this tractor looks pretty cool right here. I think this would be a good shot of uh, for like a thumbnail or something in the video, but this machine is, I think it was a pretty good buy compared to what the other ones and stuff were selling for. And, uh, on the internet and stuff. I think I got this thing for a pretty good deal and I can't really say I'm disappointed I bought it. I, I really I really enjoy this tractor. It's, it's a great machine. So, the only thing I don't like about it though is the narrow front. It's kind of tipsy and stuff which is why I want to weight the rear tires. So it's just one of those things I guess. Oh it's a little bouncy! I'm going to work the brakes here a little bit, hopefully. This isn't much of a hill. So what I'm doing here is I am trying to dry out the brakes a bit and get things a little bit warm. And same thing with the clutch. The clutch on this tractor is actually uh, open to the elements, sort of. You know, I can see, you know, I could stick my finger down in through the tractor and touch the clutch, which is kind of a little weird, but uh, just how they made them, I guess. And I'm just trying to you know, make sure things don't get too wet and you know I'm trying to dry them out basically and same thing with the clutch and the brakes so you know nothing rusts together but the the Alice it cleaned up good it it's it's not gonna be a brand new tractor and whatnot but you know it's it's good enough for for what we're doing with it so there you go, the Alice Chalmers D17 got its first bath since I've had it, and who knows how many years. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And